Welcome everyone. Hello. Welcome and thank you for joining our live session. Uh, we will be proudly presenting the future of, of STCW. My name is Krinanthi Anidu. I'm the marketing director of SQ Learn, and today I will be your host. Um, for the first time ever, STCW training is offered via e-learning with the approval of the Liberian Registry. And although unexpected last minute engagements will not permit Mr. Spiros Gumas, uh, the founder of Eskil Learn, the CEO, chairman of the board of directors, and also Mr. Unfold, uh, Alfonso Castellero, chief operating officer of the Liberia International Ship and Corporate Registry to join us live. Please allow a small message from Mr. Gumas. I would like to thank all the participants of today's presentation of the new and innovative service that SQLearn offers in collaboration with the Liberian Registry. This service refers to the STCW course available for the first time ever via e-learning. This means that every seafarer can take the necessary five years renewal STCW course at any place, even on board, without having to transfer, saving money and time and staying safe for the pandemic. Thank you for the joining today's session and taking your future into your own hands. I would like to th so as you may already understood, we are extremely proud of this innovation. So please welcome our general manager, Mr. Adonis Rigas. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, STCW VA Learning is not a science fiction. It is the future. And we at SQ Learn are extremely proud of this innovation offering for the first time ever STCW VA Learning. This has been a team effort. At this point, I would like to deeply thank Mr. Alfonso Castillero, the Chief Operating Officer of the Liberian International Shipper Corporate Registry, who trusted our company on developing this ambitious and innovative project. His contribution from the conception of the idea to the implementation of it through the collaboration of SQLearn uh, with the Liberian flag was invaluable. Moreover, I would like to thank SQLearn's maritime consultants who helped us understand the specifics of this project and so that our production team could develop digital courses which are simple, understandable, full of examples, applications, and games so that the training would be easy and naturally effective. Furthermore, I would like to thank each and everyone of SQLearn production team and especially Ms. Katerina Macrido and Ms. Eleni Lega was the production team leaders made this project come true. Without their experience, imagination, management skills and efforts, we would not have delivered such a qualitative result. They deserve many, many congratulations. Last but not least, many thanks to Mr. Jordan Malas and Ms. Marina Ivanenko, who were assigned to lead this project, making sure that we got it done on time. Through day-to-day -day communication, they managed to solve every, every issue arisen during the eight-month project development. Of course, the outcome of this effort will be evaluated by the end users in due course. We hope that we will succeed in living up to the expectations of our, our clients, both shipping companies and seafarers, and hopefully our product will allow them to renew their license in a quick, fun, and cost-effective way. Thus, at the end of the day, giving us a straight A. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Frigas. So as Mr. Frigas mentioned, the credibility of our service also comes from the invaluable contribution of our in-house maritime consultants. So in representation, Captain George Therese, shipping consultant of ST Learn, lecturer in shipping, and also the supervisor of the STCW certificates will now go into more detail on the service. So Captain Therese, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Mr. Anido. Welcome on board, ladies and gentlemen. 
thank you for the honor of your participation to this presentation of, uh, of this innovative achievement in shipping industry worldwide, uh, accrediting the basic SCCW certification uh, courses from any place at any time, resulted to the mutual benefit for both seafarers and their companies by saving cost and time. Our basic safety training STCW e-courses, uh, e uh, for example, uh, as described here under the personal survival techniques, the fire protection, the elementary first aid, the personal safety and social responsibilities, uh, including, of course, and the safety awareness of all seafarers as the regulatory requirements of SCCW Appendix 6, 6-1, has been reviewed and approved by the Liberian Registry as per International Convention of Standards of Training, Certification and Watchkeeping for Seafarers 1978 as amended. The said approval of these e-courses is the most effective ever for seafarers, not only taking into account the extraordinary circumstances of uh, COVID-19 and the lack of facilities for the seafarers to undertake training in certain uh, locations, of course, but most important for seafarers who will always will be saving time and cost of uh, live attendance in order to attend either web uh, lessons uh, or uh, to present in, in, in class lessons. Of course, applicants will, uh, will enroll to attend the required e-courses and upon successfully completed, will obtain uh, at uh, first stage the early SQL Learn certification or verification, you could say, which along with the other supporting documents required by the STCW, in example, COVID, uh, copies of the uh, passport, copies of, uh, copies of the uh, CFRS um, Siemens book, and or medical card, they will forward at later stage those to the Liberian registry and within a reasonable time frame will get the appropriate certificate as per STCW. Needless to mention that the said e-courses duration have incorporated all safety uh, tools and securities as to verify that the individual have accurately followed content and knowledge obtained matching to the standards of educational and qualification requirements. Such an innovative solution is offering a remarkable savings to both owning, managing, or even crewing companies, and of course to all applicants, in the particular case we refer to the to CFRS themselves. The SAT e-courses provide the advantages of following sign either from home or from on board a ship or elsewhere, always to the benefit of their own and of course to the shipping industry. Finally, I wish to, uh, to announce that we are pleased to inform you our complete Dolphin the library containing 62 e-courses in total as listed have been reviewed and accepted for approval by the Liberian Registry. Thank you very much all. Thank you very much, Captain. So for every good idea, as you know, the execution is what makes it great. So for that, we have to thank our production team. Ms. Eleni Lega and Ms. Katerina Makridu, our senior instructional designers, will now showcase the actual product experience. And Ms. Lega, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Good afternoon to you all. Uh, as part of the course development department, uh, we would like to show you uh, some examples of the learning courses that we have developed. Uh, the STCW basic training safety learning courses uh, and to present our philosophy and the educational approach that we followed. Um, our team of uh, instructional designers, e-learning and software developers, animators and many others have collaborated with our experts, the maritime, maritime consultants, and we have developed uh, these courses. Uh, the courses offer personalized uh, education, personalized training for everyone. Uh, the learners can attend the courses at their own pace, at any time and at any place. 
uh, and this is truly important and truly innovative. Uh, we, uh, the courses are based on the STCW code and the IMO guidelines um, and include a theoretical and practical part. Based on the STCW code guidelines, these courses should have a theoretical and practical part. So, uh, as you can see uh, on my screen, this is an example of one of our courses, the fire prevention firefighting course. Uh, there are other courses as well. There, there are three more courses. Uh, this fire prevention and firefighting course includes some general information uh, about the course, some helpful material and all these things. And then the theoretical part starts. As you can see here, we have built the theoretical part, components one, two, and three, based on the IMO guidelines. Uh, then there is the practical demonstrations and practical work part. This is the practical part. Here, we simulated what uh, uh, a, a learner can do in a training center, and this has been simulated uh, with videos, 3D demonstrations, and games. After that, there is the final assessment. Uh, here we can find a very large pool of questions uh, that the learner, learner should complete in order to get his uh, or her certificate. As you can see here, I'm going to show you the certificate with all the necessary information and regulations in order to have a valid certificate. Uh, let me show you one part of the one module, part of one module of the theoretical part. Uh, uh, in all our modules and videos and everything, we have um, uh, we have voiceover, we have interactions, we have questions, and many other things and many other interactive elements. Here, I'm going to show you an activity. The fire alarm rings. As you are wrapping up the trainings. This is an activity uh, which helps the learner understand, which simulates uh, the uh, how a fire breaks out on board a vessel and how the, uh, the learner should interact, should react. So here we have many questions, activities, and other things in order to help the learner uh, understand what to do in case a fire breaks out on board the vessel. Here you can find, you can see that our courses are uh, truly interactive and the learner can participate and can feel part of the educational process. Um, I would like to note that um, SQLearn has developed all these courses Having in mind, we all had in mind that the learner, learner should, um, should attend and can attend these courses at any pace, at his own pace, at any place and at any time. And this is truly an innovation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Lega, for the presentation. And of course, uh, user experience is one of our key factors and very important to us. So Ms. McCready will now share in more detail the innovations of our service from the side of the user perspective. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Kunanthi. So uh, as Elena has already told you, apart from the theoretical part, we also have a practical part in our courses, which we are very proud as we believe that it is truly innovative. And allow me to show you this section, demonstrations and practical work. As you can see here, we have a series of videos, demonstration videos provided, and also we have demonstrations with 3D, 3D animations and also 3D game where the user is called to prove his uh, or her knowledge, uh, his or her recently acquired knowledge through the several uh, real case scenarios uh, and through the, uh, the gamification process. So allow me to present you one of these uh, videos, for example, uh, how to rescue some casualties from an enclosed space filled with smoke and uh, while wearing a breathing apparatus. So uh, as you can see here, we present 
each step of the process and uh, we also include voiceover allow me to turn the volume on so you understand what i'm saying while transferring the casualty the team should kneel at the opposite sides of the casualty's body one of them should place his knees around the casualty's head and of course a part uh, of this uh, section where uh, each step is uh, presented we also include a uh, a video presentation uh, from on-site uh, process. And uh, in this section, we exclude the voiceover. We only have the breathing apparatus uh, sound so as to simulate a real case and uh, allow the users uh, to, to feel, uh, to get the real feeling and uh, put themselves in their real situation. So uh, allow me to comment that uh, on these videos and on these uh, courses, uh, we believe that uh, we ensure that each learner uh, has the ability to has the same access and at the same training material. Uh, and this is uh, something that uh, ensures transparency and uh, unbiased circumstances because uh, it's uh, something that uh, it's uh, independent from the trainers, the instructors and uh, their skills and methods. And also allow me to show you a 3D game that I already ha uh, has, uh, have uh, told you before. And uh, as you can see here, we have a game for the personal survival uh, techniques course. I have already completed four challenges and let's uh, see together the fifth challenge so that you get an idea of uh, our training material. So I'm going to turn the volume on again. First steps, the chief informs the bridge that everything is checked. Afterwards, the bridge gives permission to start the launching of the lifeboat. The first step is to release the boat. Click on the right spot to start the process of releasing the hook. So as you can see here, we employ uh, some aids such as 3D animation video, and we allow the user to interact with the training material. For example, here, I will submit my answer. And no matter if I answer correct or wrong, uh, the theory is again presented, uh, feedback is provided. Uh, to ensure that knowledge is acquired in a different way. And also is a way uh, to prove, uh, for the user to prove the recently acquired knowledge. So we don't only have theoretical part, we have a practical part too, uh, that allows the user to practice uh, and to prove his or her knowledge. And at this point, allow me to to tell you that uh, we have uh, for every one of these activities uh, we have uh, we have reports uh, something that again ensures transparency we get reports for each one of the users activities for the theoretical part and also for the practical part so once all these activities are completed then the final test is uh, is available and uh, upon the successful completion of the final test, a certificate can be acquired instantly, even from the user's home. That's all. Uh, thank you. And back to you, Kathy. Thank you so much, Katerina. And thank you, ladies, both of you. So as you have already witnessed, um, STCW is not, VI learning is far from science fiction. It is actually the future of STCW, and now it is available uh, from SQLearn with the invaluable approval of the Librarian Registry. So all seafarers can actually visit Maritime Courses Net and purchase directly their, their courses. And companies can also contact our um, SQLearn at info at sqlearn.com. So we can take it from there and discuss your needs and see how and if we can collaborate. 
Um, so do visit the site and we're at your disposal for, um, for any questions. So um, now we will have like a small Q&A uh, questions if anyone has to, uh, needs to ask something or wants to. We do have some incoming from emails um, in light of the live session. So uh, in any case, the whole recording of the live session and as well the Q&A will be sent to you via email uh, tomorrow most probably so that you can have like a, a guideline of what has been discussed and come back to us with any more questions you have. So let me just go through um, a bit. Give me one second. Okay, so um, Captain, we do have question asking if a chief officer, um, could you please advise whether I could obtain refresh course while on board with the service we're discussing? Definitely. At the moment that we have, uh, uh, thanks to, first of all, thanks for the uh, CFR for applying this. At the moment that we have uh, all the ships, they have um, internet on board a ship, they definitely may apply. Uh, and follow follow the uh, the specific course that possibly required, and upon upon a completion of, of the same, along with the other documents as we have uh, mentioned, will be forwarded either through his agency or through the uh, through the ownership uh, through the manager's office, crew department, uh, or by any other relative even, uh, or uh, an agent appointed by Liberia uh, Registry. Uh, to Liberia Registry directly in order to obtain the appropriate certificate. Thank you, Captain. So we do have two more questions. Um, we're being asked, what is the validity of obtaining Liberian certificate? Well, the, the, um, the, valid, uh, the validity of such certificate is as per SHW requirement for five years. Okay. Provided, of course, you know, provided that they have the sea service, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the moment they've been on board a ship, or they can get it from, from home and they do have this, the, the, the sea service, then they can uh, proceed onwards for five years, they are duly covered. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. And welcome back on the screen. So um, one more question, very specific from someone on an island. Is it possible to complete courses from my island without attending live or web lessons of STCW basic courses? I wish to be able to say same when I was attending the same course years ago, when we have to move, let's say, from my home place in order to come to, to Athens and follow up with such courses, let's say, even a month and sometimes more, so lengthy um, stay in, in the capital. Uh, definitely, from any place, from any place, I mean, even if you can have and through mobile, you can have it while being along the beach or having a um, summer vacation, and uh, it's remarkable to mention, allow me to say so, that I, it's not necessary to complete the same, let's say, you know, within eight hours or within two days, um, consecutive two days, but can could be split it within a reasonable time that the system allows uh, mm -hmm. the participant to, to complete the same. And then it's going to be it's going to be exactly as we had in the past. Right, so I will give you, since I have you here and <laughs> reply to the questions we're getting in, one more is how long does it take to obtain the Liberian certificate upon completion of the SETI courses? <clears throat> well, I believe it's not going to be more, it's not going to be more than, you know, uh, uh, the, the process of, of submission and then uh, due to, of course, to the excessive world, like it's not going to be a month, uh, it's not going to be a month or more. This is what I believe, this is what I believe. Uh, on the other side, it is always recommended not to uh, apply for such a refresh course at the end, uh, very close to the expiry date of the present certification, in order to, have, to, to, avoid, uh, to avoid any potential delay, especially when the CFRs are on board. Okay. So thank you very much, Captain, and thank You're you all. Because um, in spite, apart from our desire to be professional and to give you all the best service possible we also like to be on time so we will be wrapping up our session here we will follow up with all the details and q a and our contact details with an email like tomorrow and thank you so much for joining
wish you all the best in your careers and we promise to be keep making high quality products that help you follow your dreams and succeed in your careers. Thank you very much for joining us.